You guys requested it and here it is. This is my full review of the Nvidia Shield tablet. So let's begin. The Nvidia Shield tablet was an absolutely crazy piece of kit. You know, when I actually first saw it announced, I was literally drooling. You know, the actual specifications are absolutely mind-blowing and the price is actually not too steep. On top of that, this is made by Nvidia themselves and is the first mainstream Android device to host a Tegra K1 chip. So first let's just take a quick tour of the device, so we have a micro USB port for charging and data transfer, mini HDMI to connect to your TV, and a headphone jack. We also have two magnetic clips here for the case that comes with it, and I have to say I really like the profile of this, it's not the slimmest and it's not the lightest, but it doesn't actually feel too heavy, you know it actually feels the perfect weight for a solid gaming device. We also have these sort of boom sound equivalent speakers on the front, and the whole thing is finished off with a very nice metal finish. We actually also have two cameras here, we have a 5 megapixel front camera and a 5 megapixel rear camera, so to be fair I think it's, well, I think it's pretty safe to say the device is fully fledged. We also have a shield logo engraved on the back in a nice glossy finish. So to actually talk about the build, it's very solid, in fact it's probably the most solid tablet I've held in a long time. It's got a beautiful finish on the back, it's very very nice matte and it's not quite metal but in some ways it's better. I mean it firstly means that it sheds a few pounds and it secondly means there's no interference with signal and it pushes the cost down. I was initially very impressed with the appearance of the device and that has not changed one bit. In fact I'd say the more you use it the more you actually get to like it. And I think you just start to appreciate how minimalistic and clean the look is. So yeah, in terms of build quality the Nvidia Shield tablet gets a 18 out of 20. It's incredibly solid and it, you know it's built like a tank, however it's not metal and I guess you could say some corners have been slightly cut. It does also have perfectly sized bezels, which are a sort of good balance between being able to grip the device and having maximum real estate. So now to talk about the features. So just like with the original Nvidia Shield portable, there are a whole array of accessories for the Nvidia Shield tablet. The first of which being the official clip-on case, and this actually uses the magnets which are built into the Shield tablet and unfortunately it doesn't actually cover the back, but I have to say once it's fitted the hold is absolutely brutal. It holds the shield tablet up at around 60 degrees off the ground and so it's very very good for watching movies, playing games and listening to music because you get a good angle with the speakers as well. Now the next thing is the shield controller and although you do have to pay extra for this as you do with the case, it's well well worth it. So Nvidia has actually put a lot of work into seamlessly integrating it with the standard Android experience. So for example, you can use all the buttons to control just about everything you'd want to do. You can even browse the internet just from using this controller. The right analog stick can also be used as a cursor just as you would with a PC. And the controller actually also has a built-in touchpad which can be used to actually control more traditional Android titles. But yeah, I mean, the actual extensiveness of this is incredible, and I mean, it truly finishes off the sort of console experience on the go. So another thing that Nvidia has been raving on about for quite a while since the Shield tablet has been released is the Direct Stylus 2. This is the successor to the Direct Stylus on the Tegra Note seen last year, and I have to say it is pretty awesome. So this actually comes included in the price and is built into the tablet, which means you don't have to sort of dangle it out of your headphone jack like you do with a lot of styluses. And I have to say it's a significant step above most of the other styluses we've seen. So the actual stylus has a lot of uses. To start with you can just use it to browse the tablet instead of your finger if you're feeling like using a more pen-like input method. Secondly we have Nvidia Dabbler which is Nvidia's own sort of version of Microsoft Paint and I have to say it works incredibly. There's just the tiniest hint of input lag but apart from that this is a professional quality drawing tool and there's actually a lot of options as well as impressive graphics. So being a shield device we also get the built-in shield hub. Now this actually alone is not really a massive benefit but it does actually sort of fast track you to the games that are actually going to use all the GPU horsepower on offer. So it also actually means that you get game stream. Now game stream is the ability to sort of actually play your PC games if you have the required PC specs on your tablet. And this works just as well as it did on the Nvidia Shield, so there's been no real improvement of the service, but it was pretty good to start with. Now, another one of the big selling points is the speakers, so as you can hear in this video, the speakers are pretty incredible. They lack just a tiny bit of bass, but they're very, very loud. So 
So the Nvidia Shield tablet also has a very useful feature called full screen mode. Now unlike full screen immersive mode seen on other KitKat devices, this is permanent. So this is full screen throughout the whole Android experience, which means that you actually get more real estate when doing everything. And it means that you automatically get a full screen immersive mode on any game, even if they don't actually support it. Now it's also worth remembering that the Nvidia Shield is an Android device, which means that even if you're not buying it for the gaming features, you've still got access to every single thing that you would come to expect from a Nexus or a Samsung or anything else. So you can start to see how this is actually a very, very good buy. So as for features, I'm giving the Shield tablet a whopping 27 out of 30. Now moving on to performance, which is arguably the most important factor when buying an Android device. The Nvidia Shield tablet is a monster. There hasn't been an Android device I've ever used that has been this quick. Whether it be web browsing, interface browsing, gaming, or doing anything, it's just flawless. I mean, nothing seems to touch this tablet. It also scored a record-breaking mark on the SunSpider benchmark, which measures Java and Flash performance. So playing games on this device is literally perfect. First of all, it's 8 inches, which means it feels significantly bigger than 7 while still being wieldy. Second of all, it actually has very bright and colourful, crisp display. On top of this, we've got ridiculous power, so every game runs flawlessly. Top this off with the ability to actually play every game, even unsupported ones in full screen mode, means we've literally got the best gaming experience ever. Now that's before we've even started talking about the Shield optimised games. So games such as Trine 2, Dungeon Defenders Eternity, and Fly Hunter Origins are all just examples of games that are actually made specifically to use the power of the Tegra K1. And just look at it, this game is indistinguishable from its PC counterpart. And this is the first time I've ever seen an Android device which has done that. So admittedly the actual list of games is pretty low, but then if you actually consider how long these games take you to complete, they are literally full console games which have been enhanced for the Tegra processor, include pretty much all the DLC, and they're actually coming in at a lower price tag. So. I mean, I think the value here is ridiculous. If we actually take a look at some of the benchmarks, for example Quadrant or Antutu, the results are similarly mind-blowing. Like literally, this thing absolutely blazes through it. I mean, bear in mind I have fast-forwarded this bit, but when you actually see the results, you will be pretty taken aback. The Nvidia Shield tablet scores 42,700. Now bear in mind my HTC One M8, like the second fastest device, just scores 32,000. So the Nvidia Shield tablet is literally off the charts. The benchmark itself is telling you that it's incomparable because it's literally the number one performing device ever to be released. So the Nvidia Shield tablet is getting a 47 out of 50 for performance. So I'm guessing that by listening to this review, you kind of know that I like this tablet. It's literally everything I've wanted from a tablet. It's the perfect size, it's the perfect performance, and it's got a ridiculous amount of features. It's literally overloaded with features. So it's my great pleasure to announce that the Nvidia Shield tablet is getting a 92 out of 100 in my full review. So, I mean, I cannot believe that they've released this at the price point it's at. I mean, I do realize that the case and the controller are separate, but even without that, this is literally the best tablet you can buy.